Well, Florida is living up to its reputation as a battleground state, once again readying for massive recounts. Let's bring in Senator Tom Tillis from North Carolina, the vice chair of the National Republican Senate Committee. Great to have you with us tonight, Senator. Good to be back, Shannon. All right. So as we wait to see the final dust settle in the Senate, a number of seats still in contention. Let's start in Arizona. We've been tracking this all day. The numbers continue to update. At last recount, it looked like uh, Kirsten Sinema, the Democrat, has now pulled ahead. We know there's still about a half million votes uncounted. What are you watching for in Arizona? Well, we're just continuing to watch the uh, the counting of the provisional ballots. Uh, Arizona is a very different state in the way that most of their ballots come in through mail. Uh, we're we're hopeful in that election, but it's typical. We're a lot more concerned with what we're seeing down in South Florida right now, quite honestly. Yeah, and I want to read something that comes in from one of Bill Nelson, the current senator, a Democrat, who is hoping to hold on to his seat, and now it looks like a recount is being triggered there in Florida. His lawyer, Mark Elias, uh, which will be a recognizable name to a lot of folks out there, says this in the Tampa Bay Times. At the end of this process, Senator Nelson is going to prevail. I am very measured in how I treat what I say when I say it's currently a jump ball. I mean that. He's within a half percentage point, maybe lower at this point. Well, that's right. And we're looking at Broward County and we're looking at uh, Palm Beach. But quite honestly, we're concerned with uh, the, the methods that they're using to collect the votes. We have counties up on the panhandle that were hit by a hurricane, Category 5 hurricane, that got their votes in on time. Broward County, this is a pattern of behavior that we're watching very closely. We have our legal team down there. And I'm convinced at the end of the day we will we will win this one, but it's going to be very, very close, and it's going to take time because it is going to go to a recount. Uh, Senator Marco Rubio, your Republican colleague, saying this, obviously from Florida. Now, Democrat lawyers are descending on Florida. They've been very clear they aren't here to make sure every vote is counted. They are here to change the results of the election, and Broward is where they plan to do it. You talk about having your own legal team down there, uh, but what options do you have at this point? Well, there's a number of things. One, we have to see the ballots that were were brought forth were done within the rules of uh, the state of Florida. Then we're going to have to go to the manual recount. And the methodology that they use for the manual recount is very time consuming. What they'll do are take the ballots, not all of them, they'll take the ballots that are in question uh, because of some ir irregularities on the ballots. They'll look at the ballots themselves and see if there's any mistakes that were made by the boards of elections. All that will be sorted out. And it's a process. It's not unlike what they went through in 2000 mm -hmm. in the uh, in the Bush Gore campaign. Yeah, and so we're going to watch, of course, Mississippi a runoff there coming later in the month as well. So much still up in the air. In the meantime, the Senate is still doing business. There's a lot of talk about the firing uh, or the resignation of uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and now what comes next? A lot of concern about the Mueller Russia investigation. Um, Senator Jeff Flake, also Republican, who's working uh, with his counterparts on the other side of the aisle, tweets this: When the Senate convenes next week. At Chris Coons and I will ask for unanimous consent to bring S-2644, the Special Counsel Independence and Integrity Act, to a vote on the Senate floor after the firing of the AG. It is more important than ever to protect the Special Counsel. First, do you think that Special Counsel Mueller is in any danger of being fired at this point? And secondly, do the Senate, do you think the Senate will vote on something that would protect him? Well, first, I don't think that uh, special counsel is at risk of being removed. The president and I have talked about it. The president has publicly stated he doesn't have any intention of removing Mueller. So that's a, a narrative more than anything substantive that I see. You know, I'm one of the co-sponsors of the bill that uh, Senator Flake is planning on trying to move forward with next week. Uh, I doubt that he will be successful. I don't think it's necessary to protect Mueller, but I do think it's a bill that ultimately needs to get passed because it will apply to all future presidents. But right now, I feel like the president's been very clear. He doesn't have any intention of removing Mueller. We're very close to the end of the investigation. We're expecting this to wrap up fairly quickly, and I believe that that's the course that we should take and still focus on that bill and ultimately get it to the president's desk because of the enduring value of the policy, not because it's necessary for this particular situation. All right, Senator Tom Tellis, we'll check back with you as more of those results trickle in. Uh, thank you tonight for your time, sir. Good to see you. Thank you.